Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Girls Rising Virtual Connect. Our very first guest is Rachel Balgovich. She is the hitting coach for the New York Yankees, and she just started in November 2019, so we're going to get to hear all about her experiences. First, Rachel, we want to hear from you because I know you've probably got an incredibly busy schedule, and you've got Yankees <laughs> to go take care of. So will you tell us a little bit about what your experience has been like? I believe you're the very first woman ever to become any type of a coach in the uh, major league. So talk to us for a minute. Tell us about that. Uh, the experience has been phenomenal so far, I think. So I was hired in November and really was just on site for five or six weeks before COVID hit. So it's been limited time like on the ground, but that's just enough time to kind of get to know the players and, and at least know a lot of the names and for them to get to know me a little bit. And I think you know, this is my seventh spring training. So I worked for the Cardinals and the Astros prior to this as a strength and conditioning coach. And it's always a little bit of the same when you enter an organization. It's, you know, as a woman and being a coach, you know, I wasn't on field before, but I was still coaching. And honestly, it was probably even a little bit harder to be a strength coach because I'm forcing the guys to run and, you know, do things they don't, they don't like. Whereas now they're like, hey, Rachel, can I get some extra reps after the day's done? And I'm like, what? This is easy. Like, they actually want to come in and do it. So, um, I think it's just a, kind of the same coaching, whether it's in the weight room or hitting or pitching or whatever. If you know what you're doing and you're passionate and you care about the player and you're making them better and you're giving them information they can use, eventually they're going to not care. And that happens really quickly because they just want to get better. So if you can actually help them, it's like that, that falls away so fast. And that's been the experience of myself entering now my third professional baseball organization, but also when I talk to other women and even if it's in other sports or whatever, it's always the same. You know, the players are probably the least of, of your worries. If you're, if, like I said, if you're showing up, you're consistent, you have high standards, you're providing information. It's, it's gone really well that way. And I really can't say enough about the Yankees organization in general um, and how they've handled that. So, yeah. So at what point did you know that you wanted to uh, become a coach of some sort in the major leagues? I mean, who did you see? Who was your mentor? How did you get in the door? I'll touch on my first time getting in, which is a little more interesting. But with the Astros, uh, I worked with Dylan Lawson. He was a hitting coach and I was a strength and conditioning coach there. And we worked closely. And he has a he even has a strength and conditioning background where he was he was te he was working in the weight room at some point in his early career before he be became a hitting coach. So when I went back to school, I went back for biomechanics and statistics. I ended up doing my research on uh, eye tracking for hitters. And while I was doing my degree, I was in Europe working for the Netherlands national team, uh, baseball and softball team, and I was in the cages. So I kind of made my transition to hitting coach last year, like a year and a half ago. Um, and really, he just saw like he knew I had all the intangibles, the work ethic, the, the demeanor, the professionalism around the players. The players listened to me and respected me. So he saw that in the weight room. But then he also knew that I was adding things to my tool, my toolbox uh, to do with hitting and doing research and hitting and eye tracking and things that yeah. a lot of people aren't doing. And so he, he definitely like was the person who hired, I mean, he was, he's mainly responsible for hiring me and it was just me proving my, my worth and my ability uh, ahead of time and making that connection with the Astros.